I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Well, I mean, I am the leader, you guys. It's just the way it happened, if you say so. Yeah, kind of self-centered, though. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh, so what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled? If you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Wow, I had no idea you guys had gotten so lame. <laughs> Come on, we're not lame. I mean, you're a little lame. Axel! But, seriously, you have your life and so do we. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ah! <laughs> oh, so freaking cute!
So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. Won't be the same without you guys. Ah, oh, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there adventuring? That's good, too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mmm, huh. Hope Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. You craving seafood? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic. House over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas.
That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. Whoa! Oh, wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Could you call off your dog, please? It's kind of freaking me out. Oh, right. Sorry. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Ah, those were the days. Simpler times. <laughs> Lucas signing today. Ah, I'm so happy people have been liking his book so much. It is really you! My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days, but I still have so many questions. Uh, I'm sorry, but I've got a friend waiting for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Well, um, tell them hi-hi for me. Best pig that ever lived. <sighs> Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. I think he would have liked you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be an honor to say that the pig was hand-chosen by Jesse for the part. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much! All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth! <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. 
Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye. It makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar. Nice. Jesse! Well, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey, guys. What are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime diving. <gasps> Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's really cool. 100% totally, mostly safe, we think. That sounds awesome. Let's do it! We're gonna be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's gonna help us settle this. Nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. Nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Ha-ha! Woo! <laughs> Ta-da! Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that, thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work! What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! Just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? Hmm. Could maybe use a bit more wool, I guess. D more wool, of course! <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Stupid! Now, just to get back up there? Huh? Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. <clears throat> is he okay? No, I don't think so. Hello, Jesse. What is this for? Oh. Oh. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and pumpkin pie is the universally loved food? I think not. Well, I'm all about cake, personally. Love that stuff. Ha-ha! Yes! Exactly my stance. You don't need to rub it in. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Hmm. Don't have a ton of time, but... I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Bok, 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 bok. <laughs> hey, 
Stampy an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Excuse me, uh, ma'am? Thank you. Lovely garden. I'm telling you, Stacy, you're just being too narrow minded with your pastry selection. People love cake. Right. And some people love pie. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse, you wouldn't have happened to have made a decision on this whole cake versus pie thing yet, have you? Yes, it's still quite the source of frustration. Working on it. Order up, got one delicious cake. Ooh, it looks lovely. Yeah, if you're into something that sweet. Sorry, Stacy. I had to make a call. Yeah, I guess. Well, thank you for the help, Jesse. Yes, thank you. Run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? <laughs>